Hey everyone, welcome to the back country, or in this case, a little bit more like the front country. On this channel, we're all about getting beginners outdoors. Come with me today as I explore the beautiful Larch Valley all the way up to Sentinel Pass, and I tell you the five things you need to know if you wanna do this hike. Come along for the journey. Well, it is 6 a.m. and we are here at Moraine Lake parking lot. We are about to do Larch Valley up to Sentinel Pass, which is probably the most popular hike this time of year in Banff, Jasper, the national parks in general. So come along for the journey as we enjoy this beautiful hike. Well, the first thing you need to know about this hike is get here early. We arrived at 5.45 and the parking lot was probably already two thirds full, maybe 50% full, it is 6.30 and it is 100% full. So getting here early is the first and most crucial tip. Well, we're on the path. First things first, we've got some elevation to gain. Tyler, how you feeling? I'm a little tired. <laughs> Journey ahead. Keep moving forward. <laughs> the larches start to appear here in Larch Valley and the next thing that you need to know if you want to do this hike is dress prepared. It's fall here in the Canadian Rockies which means you got to be ready for anything. Last year this time of year there was snow on the ground so bring enough layers, bring right footwear, be prepared. But one thing is certain, those larches will not disappoint. Well, it is sunrise and we timed this perfectly. Right behind me is the Valley of Ten Peaks that surround Moraine Lake and the sun is just hitting the mountaintops. It's beautiful out here and we're not even finished yet. <laughs> Okay, let's talk larches. Larches are a unique tree that are, although they are coniferous, meaning they're cone bearing trees, they lose their needles in the fall. So unlike evergreens that stay green year round, larches lose their color, or lose their leaves and turn that beautiful golden color. As for the perfect time for larch season, you wanna come the third week of September. That's when they'll hit that peak golden color. Anything earlier, you're gonna be a little bit off. Anything later, you might start losing those needles. They are a unique species that grow in unique microclimates here in the Canadian Rockies. So they reward those who seek them out with their beautiful colors at this time of year. Larches, this is what I'm talking about. Beautifully rewarding. However, since they only grow above 1800 meters, the next thing you need to know is that any hike that's truly gonna reward you with larches is one that you're gonna have to climb. So be prepared for the elevation, both as far as endurance goes and as far as 
you know, climatization. Don't go too fast, take your time, and enjoy the scenery. Wow. Alright, we are heading up Sentinel Pass. It is just in front of us, so it's a beautiful hike, but this is where the difficulty really steps up its game, so be prepared, but then you get the beautiful views of Paradise Valley on the other side. Wow. The second last thing you'll want to know if you're doing Larch Valley all the way up to Sentinel Pass especially is you want to make sure that you bring enough water. People often underestimate how much water they'll drink when they're going up high elevations and usually it's more than you think. So you could even bring a filter as there's a couple of water sources that you could filter your water and resupply on the way so you're not carrying all that weight in your backpack. And the last thing you need to know if you're going to do Larch Valley and Sentinel Pass is don't stop till you get to the top. It is worth it. The views just keep getting better. And if you have to take your time, do it because there's no going back. You need to just keep moving forward. Well, this has been the journey of Sentinel Pass through Larch Valley. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you'd like to see what I wear on colder fall shoulder season hikes, you can click this playlist right here and I tell you the things that you need to know to stay warm on a hike like this. Whatever the case, remember, keep moving forward.